Welcome to the two Aussie investors. Привет, comrade. We did it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Interesting week. Yeah. You've had a, the birth of your daughter? Yeah, last week. So we didn't we didn't do one last week. Yeah. Episode four. Episode four? Yep. Bits happened in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I did did write um like a process, you know, I was meaning to send it to you. Um yeah. what do you think of this? So we we gotta do a disclaimer. I can I put yes. it up on the screen now. There's a disclaimer. And I thought it could be like, this is not financial advice. If you think it's financial advice, fuck off. Something like that. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. This is just our point. opinions. Yeah. Opinions only. Yeah. And then we do the welcome. Welcome. Yeah. We've done that. Yeah. <laughs> and then we say, and then, well, what we do, go. okay. So uh, you say I'm Grovesy. Yeah. Say it. I'm Grovesy. And I'm Anzac. And this is the yeah. two Aussie investors, investors. And we talk about investing. Yeah. And the Vonics. And the Vonics. <laughs> yeah. Bit of both, really. Yeah. And, um, and what's the next thing? Uh, what we're going to talk about tonight. Yes. That's it. Yep. And then we have our three points. Three points. Yeah. Should we do that now? WhatsApp. Yeah. You got the WhatsApp points? Oh, well. Or unless you've. Uh, yeah. I, 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 you know, text it to me and I can do by, by unit and three. NBS. There was. Has NVX turned a corner? Half year results discussion. Okay. And more just report NVX. discussion. Yeah. Okay. I can't see you, cuz. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Well, I do do have something on. Oh no, maybe I don't have anything on Putin. I don't have anything on Putin, your mate. Um, but um cheers to Putin. Here's the put the put stuff. Stuff. Well, you called hey, was, a couple of weeks ago. How, how, the, how they said they actually met. That's what that, that's what I, I thought. You said the Olympics. You said it. I'm going to wait till after the Olympics. Yeah, and, and they said, did. I thought because I because they were sitting next to each other at the opening ceremony. Yeah, it was a bit weird at the time. But now, will he actually drop a nuke? Will that be the next? Will that be the start of World War Three? Well, I don't think so, but they, they, they uh, started you know, I was wrong before, wasn't I? And you were well, right. They started, they started shooting at um, the, the nuclear pl uh, power plant. Did you see that earlier in the week? Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so they that's, might that's just like dropping a nuke, isn't it? Shooting at a it nuclear is. power plant, plant. Yeah. What's the difference? Much. Yeah, same, same. If not worse, yeah. probably. Yeah, because like, remember that one that leaked in Japan and it leaked for yeah, hours and days? And and yeah. No, Chernobyl. I'm not talking about Hiroshima, the, the bomb. I'm talking about it was like a nuclear power plant that went to Yeah, Shima. I think it was called Fukushima. Oh, it was. Earthquake. Yeah, I thought you said Hiroshima. Yeah. Nah, the, the yeah. Fukushima. That was in the earthquake. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if they had a... Um, exploded the reactor they reckon it would have been 10 times what chernobyl was because this is what this is one of, this is one of the big nuclear power plants in in the well, ukraine that, that fucks up more than just one country too doesn't it yeah so um it could affect all of europe yeah you know uh, yeah. the uk everywhere like if one of those goes off uh, yeah. yeah it's going to be in interesting well i mean the markets are reacting at the moment oil's yeah. gone nuts like coal's gone nuts, nickel's yeah. gone nuts. Yeah. So the good thing is it's going to, it's for Australia anyway, is it's going to be great for our exports. We're going to make a shitload of money yeah. exporting 
coal, nickel, and for Novonix as well, because it's yeah. going to be a supply chain crunch in the next, if the the longer the war goes on, the more uh, supply chain issues that we're going to have for commodities. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't know how much, how much is the litre up in Sydney now? It's like two bucks a litre down here. It's nuts. Yeah. Yeah, right. it's a bit under two bucks. Yeah. But everybody's right. lining up, you know? Yeah. Nobody's taking yeah. public transport. No, nah, exactly. They're all driving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I think, who knows? I don't really have an answer for where the markets are going to go. It all depends on what happens with the war, I think. Yeah. Which is so unpredictable. Who knows mm. what the hell Putin's going to do? I don't think you'll nuke. I, I don't think NATO will get involved and I don't think you'll nuke, but no. I don't think it'll end soon, you know? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's going to drag on for another, you know, couple of yeah. months. Yeah. Uh, it's going to go on and on. And yeah. It'd be nice for it to end sooner than later, but um, with yeah. a nuke, no one will win, you know? No, no. Like, but yeah, the, the 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 worry is that he accidentally nukes. Europe. Yeah, like you got close the other day. Yeah. You know. mm. uh, anyway, it's, a bit of it's, it's made the market go so, to shit. You know, market's gone to shit big time. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's all all this fear at the moment. Yeah. And and the problem is with oil and that going up, then prices across the board are going to go up. Yeah. Because everything's going to get transported at the end of the day. And yeah. we know what the answer to that, to that is, though, don't we? Novenix. Put batteries. More batteries. Put, yeah. Produce long lasting batteries. Yeah. Move away from oil. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess there's yeah. oil, you know, like it's not going to get cheaper, is it? it just makes nah. the, it makes an electric car more desirable. More desirable, yeah. And much oil more companies, cheaper, you know, oil companies aren't, oil companies aren't investing in oil, as yeah. we know. Philip sixty six, yeah, they they're investing in in green energy now. They're they yeah. they're on a transition away from oil. Yeah. So interesting, hey. Yeah. Oh, what else? And um, well, let me show you the uh, the articles. So, what what do I else do I have here? Um, Google, can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. Um, we got um, so oh, this one. So I mean, that's about NVX. Oh yeah. Should we go through this? You sent this yeah, to okay. me. So this was on um Monday. So Monday. No, 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 no. You. This was when did you send this to me? It was about a week ago. Yeah, that's when we had the big uplift. Yeah, the big I uplift. I thought oh, maybe this is the, the turning point, but yeah, it's come back down again. Come back down again. But so that's it, because that's because of what's happened. What day here. was that? It, it, last Tuesday, it got the biggest yeah. gains, and so you yeah. can see here now. But, no but then after that, um, Putin bloody nearly nuked Europe, as as we we're just talking about. Yeah. Um, and then, but it wasn't the just Novenix that went down, everything did, you know. No, the, yeah, and, and today the whole market went down as well again because because oil's like 120 bucks a barrel, which is uh insane. When you remember when COVID first hit, oil went into negative, they it was like give free, it away. yeah, it was free, yeah, so isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. this is this other one that you sent, ah, yes. Biden bets on US battery independence. Yes. Okay. Bloomberg. Okay. Reports released this week about the supply chain shortfalls focuses on building a domestic battery industry with the help of billions in government funding. Yep. Yeah. So, so good old Open Biden. Lines. That's, that's huge. Yeah. Like. So supply chain shortfalls a domestic battery industry. So so it's exactly what Novenix is. Novenix yeah. is domestic to America. Just turn my phone yeah. off. 
and um, uh, and then um, billions in government funding. Yeah, Wouldn't which is about right? to come up hopefully in the next you know month or so. I think April, President May. Obama wanted to spend about. his week talking about his climate agenda and reducing dependence on China. Well, that's that's exactly what Novanix is too, reducing exactly. dependence yeah. on China. Yep. But Vladimir Putin got in the way. He's got in the way. <laughs> yeah. Even as Biden was outlining sanctions against Russia as punishment for the invasion of Ukraine, that's interesting, isn't it? What sanctions? Yeah. What's he going to do? Tell Europe not to buy their gas. Is that what they're talking about? That's what they've done, yeah. And that's why the oil prices spiked because and why nickel's gone nuts and but, um, coal. So well, even if Russia's Biden like, does say to Europe, don't buy Russian gas, but they're still doing it, right? Uh, at the moment they are, but they're going to start... Um, start restricting it. That's why the, the, the futures prices for commodities are, are going nuts. His administration pushed forward on Thursday, published, okay, the reports cover everything from vaccine making materials to semiconductors, but along the key focus areas is cultivating, here you go, cultivating domestic battery manufacturing. There you go. That's what NVX yes. is. Biden's solution is government funding, okay? Yep. So he's got billions of dollars. How much do you think, Grovesy, Novanix is going to get? Well, some of the the posts I've read in in Hot Copper and um, you know rumors I've heard of is up to a hundred million. A hundred million. Did you just say yeah. Novanix is going to get one hundred million dollars? Potentially, yeah. Even if just you're because- wrong. Even if you're a tenth right, that's $10 yeah. million. Dollars. Yeah. That's the US as well. Yeah. Just because I think it, it's it's going to be like this article saying, Novonix will become a critical company yeah. in America as part of the supply chain. And we're talking about billions, forward. billions, billions of dollars yeah. and to jumpstart innovation. Away. I mean, you know, they won't just get it for their, Novonix won't just get it for their, cathode, sorry, their, their anode, the anode, you know, the, no. the synthetic graphite, they'll get it for their cathode as well, you know? Yeah, I think it'll be want. for cathode and the and the testing, yep. uh, the testing side of the business. I could be, yeah. EV supply chain from lithium extraction to battery recycling. The money will come from, who knows where it's going to come from. It yes. just doesn't matter where it comes from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With surging prices of battery minerals like nickel, lithium, and cobalt adding to his inflation woes, Biden focused his presidential powers further up on the supply chain this week. On Tuesday, he held an event with California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, it's not Arnold. What happened to Arnold? (laughs) He's out fighting the wall with with Klitschko, the boxers. Did you see that? That's it. Yeah. The Ukrainian boxers <laughs> yeah. are in, in Ukraine fighting. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't send it to you. Uh, oh. um, do you want me to Google it or do you just believe me? No, no, I, 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 I believe you. Yeah. yeah. So that, they're actually there on the front line, are they? Oh, geez, what have I done here? Okay. I've, I've hit a button. Oh, uh, take me back. Oh. Uh, I've stuffed up. I've clicked on something else. Oil sores, market wrap. Okay, well, we've done that one. Um, yeah. This one, Novanix. Oh, this happened um, a week and a bit ago. Oh, this was the NASDAQ listing. Yeah. yeah. We've taken New York by storm. We are so proud of this monumental achievement. Dr. Chris Burns, our CEO, rang the at NASDAQ closing bell to commemorate Novanix recent listing on the NASDAQ exchange as NVX in Times Square. So here's some nice photos. Look at them there. Ringing that bell. Yeah. Pretty amazing. 
pretty amazing to think in you know 14 15 months that they've gone from a small minnow company to actually listing ring a bell to ring so, in a bell and, and i think they got 200, 260 million in the bank like, and that's... you you reckon the us government is gonna you know almost double that we'll give them give... another 100 million yeah well hopefully yeah now I mean, we got this this news as well, just some bad news about NVX. What's yeah. this? We haven't talked about this. We got this just after our um our last uh, Aussie two yeah, Aussie uh, was... invest investors. Novanix price target was this by Morgan's cut thirty percent. Yeah. You said you'd research what? Why? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I I can't find the. I can't. Like no one's been able to to give me the link. You know how normally you get the link to mm. the actual research. Yeah, no story, headline only. It's quite often you get just headlines, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll see. I'll, I'll keep digging then and see what I can find on yeah. that. But I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's because they're either they're saying that you know because there hasn't been any announcements come out in the last few months about um, you know Sanyo or Panasonic. So yeah. Because that's been delayed, I'm assuming that's why they've they've revalued it. Well, because only you know what four or five months ago they're valuing it, valuing them at seven dollars eighty eight. Yeah, a couple of months so, ago, so and thirty percent is quite a lot too. Thirty percent drops huge. Yeah, so Actually, I'm, not, I'm not sure what. Funny what enough, they're basing now, that on. Yeah, well, well, we're probably under now what Morgan's is valued it on. I think. Yeah. Because what what are we now? We're just under five bucks, is it? Yeah, we're 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 close to what Morgan's is doing at it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four dollars eighty eight, I think Morgan said. Yeah, well, you know what's gonna help that is more supply agreements, yeah. which are on the cards. On and the cards, um, a, a government government loan. A government like million government grant million. just giving them a grant. You know. Yeah. And that'll I mean, happen that, any day. That totally de de risks the whole, the whole, uh, whole, um, you know, setting up of the of the anode business and the cathode. They totally yeah. de risks. They, they get a hundred million bucks. Yeah. Game on. Yeah. Well, I mean, they got two hundred sixty million sitting in the bank. So it I'm, is pretty annoying. Um, sitting watching your. Uh, you know, watching NVX right now or watching any share, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know? Oh, I, that's the, sorry, I didn't screenshot, did I? That, that's yeah, the life of an investor. Up, up one minute, down the next. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, can see that. So what that what happened today? So 490, so a bit under five bucks. What's going on yeah. here? That's five days. So it's 560. That's what I bought some more at that price, 560. You know, yeah. see what I've done is each time it's significantly dropped, I've bought some more. Yeah. So when it went from 12 bucks to just under nine bucks, I bought some more. Yeah. Then it went from nine bucks down to under six bucks, 560 here, and I got some more. And I yeah. think if it goes down any more, I mean, I don't think it will, but if it does, I'm going to just get some more. Yeah. There we go. Look at this and month. What, what a shocking month. And what's that? Uh, what's that? What's the term for doing that? Dollar Is cost averaging. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So this is December, then the big drop down and when did putin happen around here yeah yeah probably about a month ago yeah which hasn't helped yeah so we yeah we haven't had we haven't had the rebound that we expected no like, that i expected anyway i mean there I was a, it, I, uh, there was a pump there and you're like oh is that the rebound you yeah know? i thought oh, here we go we're gonna go back up around eight bucks yeah like eight, eight bucks as we said was about reasonable price on I, I thought yeah based on everything that, that had been happening mm. so i think i think it 
at this stage, Vonix is is severely undervalued, but that's just my opinion. Mm. And remember Based when on... we were way back here, like um, yeah. they've gone six months ago, but so, I mean, that was around September. Yeah. It was about the same, $5, or maybe even I'll go one year. Remember, remember around here? Yeah. We, we had Novanix then at the same price. Look, look at that. 480 yeah. about the same, 495 on the 2nd of September. Were we happy then? We were ecstatic. Ecstatic then. <laughs> ecstatic then. Like, because we bought, you know, all the way here. Yeah. So, and suddenly we're going, what's going on here? Boom, it pumps. Boom, it keeps pumping. It pumps to like almost hitting five bucks. And we just couldn't believe it. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. Like, and, and that's not even long ago. That's September. No, nah. no, nah, what, six months it's, ago? <laughs> it's only March, right? Yeah. It's not long yeah. ago at all. But no. look what we've been through. We've been at it, it pumped all the way to, to to almost seven, then dropped, then pumped the way to twelve, and then oh, dropped. Bucks. That and was now we've just right been run. going down and down and down and down. Yeah. Yeah. And um, well, what's gonna happen? Well, I think like you said, what the you know, once we get some more announcements coming out. Yeah. Um, and any any government grants from Biden, mm. any any good news obviously is going to going to pump up the share price and anything that and the uh, risk and a stock the like this is hurt more in a time like this. Do you know yes, what I mean? Because it's yeah, because it's because it's a growth stock. It doesn't. It's exactly. not actually producing much money at the it's moment. It's not a value stock. It's it's not a BHP that are no, already making not money. Not established yet. And and dare I say it, your BHPs and a lot of the big ones, um, they're not just making money, but they a lot of their materials have you know or raw materials have gone up in value. Yeah, right? which is why their their share price is going up. Exactly, you know. Yeah. But Novanix right now is not making a lot of money. No, nah, it's, it's, stuff it's a growth stock. You know, yeah, it's investing everything into just just look at that. That that says to me, it's risky. You know, yes, yeah, it's definitely risky. Yeah, but we're sitting at five bucks. Yeah, and and BHP, I don't know, they're sitting at forty bucks or something. I'm just using BHP as a comparative, as a as a value stock, not not a growth stock. Um, Yes, in six months, you know. We've we've seen it at half and more yeah. in in the same amount of time we can see it easily go back up. BHP won't do that, you know. No, no. but something like Novanix easily can, yeah. especially with with what's ahead for it. Yeah, um, it's it's yeah. whether you believe in the the story and where the, where they're heading, yeah, where the, where the industry's heading. And whether okay. you think their whether you yeah. think their product is is uh, viable, I guess going forward. Do, do you believe in the story? Do you believe? And the story is, what is the story? Yeah. The story is well, the world and uh, moving away from from fossil fuels, oils, yeah. uh, and and gases, and moving towards renewable energy. It's, yeah. It's, it's moving towards solar power. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know? it's, and it it's it's whether it I guess the other story is how fast you think that uh, internal combustion cars are going to disappear and be replaced by electric vehicles. How mm. fast is all, all that going to happen? Yeah. Well, if you looked at if you just took a snapshot now, um, let's say, did you drop the kids to school today? Yes. Okay. Out of those cars, so so there was a hundred cars there. Um, yeah. How many cars do you think were older than you know twenty years? Were, were before twenty twenty? Uh, I'd say probably twenty percent. But not twenty twenty before the year two thousand. 
Oh, you think 20% were before the year 2000? Oh, oh, before 2000? No, no, probably 5%. Yeah, exactly. A, yeah. a phenomenal minority. And, and then what about how many cars in a snapshot, you know, were before, were uh, older than 10 years even, you know? Um, yeah, probably maybe 30, 30%, yeah. 30, 40%. Which shows that the majority of cars are within 10 years. So in yeah, 10 years point. time, yeah. and I, yeah. that, that's a, a good point, in, in 10 years time, yeah. the majority of cars will be between now and 10 years. And yeah. if someone's looking to buy a car now, the, the, the question is, can you get an electric car? That's it. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. you don't think, oh, you want to get another another fucking petrol car with all this shit going no. on. No. Like if, not, not with all if anything's promoted electric fucking vehicles, it's it's this fucking horse shit going on right now. Yeah, hundred percent. And I guess the, the comparison is what's happened over the last 10, 15 years with with uh, electricity prices. Hmm. So the, the government's basically forced all of us onto solar panels on our roofs by giving us incentives. Yep. To put put panels on our roofs, and I think the same is going to happen in Australia with with electric vehicles. There'll be mm. incentives to to buy electric vehicles going forward. Mm. And in ten years' time, everyone will have an electric vehicle. Yeah. Because a, it'll be too expensive to run an internal combustion car. Petrol yeah. will be at five bucks. Yeah. Or whatever it's going to be at. Yeah. In ten years, it's at two bucks. Did, that, that doesn't shock me at all to hear that. And, and five you bucks. know, it's two bucks now. It could go to three bucks in another yeah. couple of months. Yeah. So, yeah. so you know, it's going to force people to to make that change when yeah. they can, when they can, when they can uh, plug their car into the wall at night and basically get free fuel. Mm. I think everyone's going to be buying and buying a uh, electric vehicle. Mm. I know I will, purely for the but economics yeah. of it. Yeah. It just makes too much sense, doesn't it? Yeah, and and the fact that all these countries have to meet the the Paris Accord, yeah, you know, emissions targets as well. Yeah, uh, that's, that's another reason. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I, the, how we got onto this was: Do you believe in the cause of Novanix? Yeah, and, and the answer is, of course. Yeah, hundred you percent. Know? Yeah, because I, because to me, there is there's no other alternative. It, it's yep. going to happen. I don't. Yep. It's it's not a matter if, yep. no matter when. And we saw that about America and and you know their idiot president. Although he's an idiot, like there's there's he must be surrounded by half smart people, and yeah. um, it's just the only way, isn't it? You know they've, yeah. they've got to set up their own supply chains. They they yeah. don't want to rely on. You know, well, look at it. Like look at. Look at Germany right now, relying on yeah. Russia, relying for, on Russia for, for their, their gas. energy. Yep, yep, hundred well, percent. It's the same shit, you know. Yep. Does America want to rely on China for for energy or for 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 their batteries? For their cars, yeah. No, nah. you know, just like Germany's just thinking, well, shit, we don't we don't support. Russia going in and bombing the bombing Ukraine, but at the same time, what do we do? We 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 need the yeah. gas, you know. Yeah. But now we got pressure. Oh, don't buy it. No, they're not just Germany. Yeah. Everybody. So, yeah. and it's like, well, do I freeze to death or do I you know, want to get some gas? <laughs> That's the, the answer is they, they've got to make. The answer is yeah. Novanix. Novanix, but Novanix it's it's all the. the it's all the companies that are that are in in Australia and in America that are going to be part of the battery supply <coughs> chain that, that, that are in and, nickel, lithium, and this. Graphite. I mean, if you just look at that, you can see that it's definitely started to, you know, like look. There's a 25th of February, you know, yeah, at under five bucks. So it's it stayed about five bucks. Or I think so. it's building a base around that yeah, five bucks. Look, mark, it was five it? bucks on right. the 22nd of February. So yeah. we're about five bucks now. We, we you know, yeah. this line. Um, it seems as though that it's definitely plateaued. Yes. Plateauing. 
yeah, plateauing. Yeah, plateauing out. Yeah. You know, we can zoom in a little bit more. And I think any positive announcement like, is going to Like if you look from, from here, here to here, which is, which is all about the same. But yeah. the same for Novanix is, is going up 8% a day. That, that, yeah. That's in that, that time since yeah. uh, mid-February. Look at that. Yeah. So like what's if it going to do? It's not going to go down anymore. If there's an announcement, say, so, you know, uh, even a $10 million loan, like you said, if it's one-tenth of, of what my prediction was, yeah, that's going to that's gonna pump up the price. Yeah. Big time. And but, I mean, what, what's going to pump the price too and help the market is yeah. is this this war ending. But like, yeah. as we know that sometimes wars, you know, they, they're not month or week things. They go for years. Yeah, but it could go this, for a This really could years go for before. a very long time. Yep. Um, and, but, you know, it will end or the market will get used to it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, what's happening is the change is happening well, the, regardless, regardless of this war, you know, yeah. the, the, the fossil fuels are on their way out, renewable energies yeah. are on their way in, regardless. But, this but in, in the short term, in the short term, the big beneficiary, beneficiary is going to be Australia. Yeah. Because yeah. we've got all the fossil fuels. We, we've got fossil fuels plus the, the batch of materials that, that the world yep. needs. So we're we're sitting in a very good place. And we're we're happy so to sell sell them to Europe. Yeah. So the the war is actually good for Australia, believe it yeah. as bad as that sounds. But yeah. you know, with coal prices going nuts and um and uh, oil, gas, uh, yeah. iron ore, that's all, all going to be good for for the Australian economy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and you, like. Uh, like, are we allowed to talk about COVID anymore or that's all over, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, COVID's still going to... Yeah, it's amazing how the media's just dropped that. Yeah. Now, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they, they, they've always said that there's going to be more... There, there could be more variant. Well, there will be more variants. It's just whether it's the new variants are going to be more deadly or not. Yeah. So that, that, that's another little uh, thing that might come come up and... Uh, bite us on the ass, you know, in a couple of months' time. Yeah, if that if that rears its head again. But even who knows with that too? Like like that yeah. that can definitely hurt the market. But it it definitely feels that we've got over the mask thing here, and there's yeah, it's pretty much well, you know, we just had the baby a week ago. There's masks everywhere there, and yeah. um, in hospitals, and that just completely won't change. Um, no. Nah. No, uh, which is kind of cool, and aged yeah. care won't change, and disability won't, won't change. change. Um, public transport, well, it's compulsory here in Melbourne still on yeah on public transport. Yeah, here too. Yeah, that won't change. Yeah, yeah. but I think if there is another variant, we're all so used to it. Will it? We, the world would, you know, just adapts quicker now. Yeah, they're doing yeah. the past. Like everyone, everyone's like, okay. We'll just go back to working from home. Yeah. We'll just, you know, socially distance mm. and get over it. So I don't think if there is another variant that's more deadly, it's not going to affect the markets as much. Yeah. As say when COVID first hit, of course. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's um it's interesting the COVID thing. And you know, we we've got students and and tourists coming in and tourists leaving. So yeah. I did see something that um, January or, or was it February? I think it was January was a tenth of the size, both exports of, you know, Australians leaving and people coming to Australia as, yeah. you know, as pre-COVID, I think the November before the, the, the oh, COVID uh, started. Yeah. So still only a tenth. Still only a tenth. So we've uh -huh. got a, a long way to go before we're back to what we used to be. But, it, you know, a lot of people haven't booked their holidays for now. They've booked them in six months or two months or three months. or So yeah. this year we'll see it get back. 
I don't know whether it will ever will be as big as it was. I guess it will be. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, Actually, that's another good topic for next week. What's going yeah. to happen to rents going forward? Yeah. When immigration comes back. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 the the uh, and and house prices. Well, will house prices keep going up? Yeah. Even though interest rates are going to go up, if you're going to have you know two hundred thousand people coming into the country, yeah, that's going to put pressure on houses. Yeah. So. Yeah, we need yeah, to discuss well, that next week, right? too. Like uh, all the people that do come, you know, to Australia um, or to Sydney, um, do most of them go to apartments or do most of them go to houses? Oh. I, I have a feeling um, most go I'd say to apartments. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. that's and what most I think. of them. Most of them go to Sydney or Melbourne. Yeah, most go to Sydney or Melbourne. Right. Most go. Most go to apartments. Yeah. Yeah. Which is where there's the most supply at the moment. So yeah, you know, yeah, it would make sense that. But that's that's happening right now, you know. Yeah. As we speak, there's so planes will, flying. Will there be? Will there be? You know, massive increases in rent going yeah. forward. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, that's an interesting topic for next next week. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get some articles. All right, mate. Yeah. That was good. Oh, good. That was a good one. Like that. See you next Monday. No worries. Go Aussie investors. Yeah. <laughs> See you, cuz. See you, cuz. Take it easy. Bye.